So Charlie's just like, bruh, I'm trying to stay hydrated, but I also need to suffer the consequences of my actions right there. Nice, Charlie. I mean, do what you ever need to do, because it's, clearly it's working. Yeah. Stay hydrated, bro. Yeah. Three, two, stay hydrated. One, if you want to stay go. healthy, don't drink soda, drink water. Anyway, but here we are, game one in the grand finals here at WNF. Yo, it is like five, ten seconds, and he's already at 90%. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, he has. He hasn't been touched on all this stock. And, you know, Charlie's just like, okay, I am angry. I am mad. Call me the Hulk because I'm trying to kill you. Yeah, it's just like, oh, he's trying to He's just trying to end this man. Okay, I, I feel like Charlie's feeling a little bit him too much. Of himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, they, they take it down a notch. A little bit more. And then play, keep, stay there. Because right, that was good. Yeah, again, there, there's that like, okay, you know what? He just goes for it, and you know, he's like, you know what? He's, he's expecting smart play now. I'm not going to give him that smart play. I'm just going to grip it again. Yeah, do it again. Sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. Wow. CDK's conversions have been crazy. Oh, my wow, God. Wow, that air dodge. Yeah, that was an excellent end draw from catch up, because that definitely would have killed him if it had connected. Oh, wow. He just stays over the F-Smash. He's just trying to put like limit away CDK's options, but CDK's choosing the right option every single time. Like he's going uh, underneath the force smash, he's going uh, above um, the up B explosion. So super good stuff. I'll try to two frame him. And again, going for fourth, fourth throw. Side B, that's a new, that's a something that I've never seen before. I know there's a percentage range for it. I just don't know. Okay, that, that was a weird trade. I was like, wait, no way. That is not. He's not getting the perfect spacing again. Alright. I mean, if he had gone that sweet spot, that probably would have killed them both right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, but again. you know what? He tried running away, but Charlie was like, nope, I'm going to scoop you. And now it's your fault for hitting my shield. But now I, I see uh, Ketchup trying to be like, okay, I, got, I see you got juggles. Let me show you my juggles. Let me see you. Let me show you my combos. And, oh my god, I thought that clown card told me also hit him. You, you ain't the only one with custom combos around here. Oh, I love that roll. Oh, so much coverage. Yeah. Covered it with a nair, covered uh, almost all options with down smash. Wow. You know what? I love what he's just doing with those back airs. He's just facing them like, oh, you're trying to go low? Let me cover it with back air low. Oh, you saw that low didn't work? Let me go high and cover it that and option oh, yeah, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Well, Charlie really wanted to end it with the up B again, but he needs he needs to take it down a notch once again. I feel like now we're starting to see a little bit of calmer from Charlie. You know, still going for those crazy reads, yeah. but like trying to be a little bit more safe about it. Yeah, you mask me now. Oh, he calls him out again! Yeah. Okay, CDK is just playing on another level right now. Oh my god, dude, he's playing so well right now, it's insane. All right, and here we are going to game two. All right, I, I, I have to finish up this set, and then I'll, I'll have to be on my way out. Uh, you're not going to stay for the, the bracket reset? I can't. Uh, I got a carpool to, to take care of. All right, all right. You got to do what you can, but at least finish commentating out this set. I will. That's the plan. All right. I mean, Charlie 3 0 yeah. him. Then, like. I, I want to see how CDK is like. CDK is impressing me right now. Like, his his momentum, right, is just carrying him all the way through. And he's getting all these conversions that I, like, I've never seen before. You know what? Oh, oh, my God. He, he the spot does. Yeah, but I feel like he held on to it just a little bit yeah. too long. I, wow, he gets hit by the clown card, but he manages to shield in time anyways. Not going to get comboed right there. Barely avoids it with the air dodge. And again, gets caught by the force smash. That's gonna do it. Wow, that killed him at like 70 or 80 from center stage. That's such a strong kill option. And now we get the up air strings. Oh, does? Oh my God! I I saw somebody got hit. I thought that was Charlie. Oh, he barely did make it. 
No, catch up being like, okay, okay, you got me game one, but I'm gonna show you why I beat you in winners. Bump again, so take a stock. Okay, so this is this is where CDK kind of needs to turn it up again, but he's on that hard momentum right now, and we know his conversions have been really on point tonight. I mean, definitely, like, I feel like if it wasn't for that second stock being lost so tragically, like, he definitely would be in the game. Yeah, at point. He, yeah, he'd be very much, yeah, like, still in the set. He's just like, this is, this is he's still in, but it's, this is a lot harder in, compar in comparison. He definitely can't afford to, like, have any more slip ups like that. Oh, he's doing such an excellent job trying to call out the jump with the up smash. Ooh, and I love that kind of going low and then covering the high option as well. Oh, the parry. Oh, too far. And he gets the wolf splash. No, I love how he called out the jump with the wolf splash, too. It's yeah. Like, it, it just puts so much pressure on him. And it covers the jump out of the ledge right there, too. And just like that, I feel like he didn't really take that much percent. No, he did not. 40 is still very much doable. CDK brought this all the way back, even with the missed tech. Wow. Yes. Yeah, just, just trying to get that conversion there with the up B, but just misspacing it a little bit. Yeah. CDK playing so good. You know what I haven't seen from Ketchup this entire set? I haven't seen him pull. I was about to say, I haven't seen him pull out a Mega Koopa. I don't think he's been able to have time with what how, how much pressure Charlie's been putting on him. And you know, even then, like, if he does pull it out, he can easily get it uh, re re reflected against him. Yep, that's for sure. Yeah, Charlie's playing so careful. Oh, but to the side beat. He's gonna take it. Oh, the air is not it's gonna be enough. But he's looking for that jab at ledge. Not gonna be able to go for it. I mean, you know he's looking for it. You know he wants that, like, rapid jab finisher. Oh, double F until oh, the ground card drive. Yet again, Ketchup looking for his option to kill. Yet again, Shrine going for a forward smash, but you know it, it gets punished by the fair from ledge. Oh, he missed the grab. Yet again, I, I feel like Ketchup was like, okay, I know I have this game. I just need to close out the stock. And then Charlie's just like, you know what? As long as I don't get hit by the kill option, everything is fine. But oh, everything out. is not fine at the end right there. Calls out the jump there, gets the back air, and Ketchup's going to be able to take the game. So oh. unfortunately for C CDK, like, he just did, he missed that tech, and that kind of cost him the game right. there. So he needs a reset, and then get back in the zone. I think he will. He was climbing I mean, back in that uh, in that last game super hard. I mean, definitely, you know what? Charlie has all the momentum on his side. You know, and I feel like Ketchup just barely, like, squeaked out that game. He was he was bringing it back. So, you know, I feel like if Charlie plays, like, pretty solidly, like he did game one, and just doesn't get an unfortunate, like, boss early stock, then he will definitely be able to reset the bracket. Yeah. He'll play his normal game that he's been playing right now, and he'll be perfectly fine. And look at this, he's, Ketchup is already at 72 and it's only been in 50 seconds. You know, you see Ketchup trying to go for his uh, aggressive options, but you know what, Charlie's just kind of running away and then punishing him for it. You see it again with that there, you know, I, I feel like he hasn't been able to hit him just because every option that he wants to go for just gets stuffed out or just gets avoided completely. He's just trying to grab him here, but he's just going, moving all around, he's like left, right, I don't know where he is. Ooh, I love that trying to go for the up smash to cover the up beat. Oh, scoops him up again. Such a big hitbox putting him to the tip there. That's gonna be the stock. Oh, but Ketchup with all conversion here, getting a lot of free damage, no jump. You know what? That's gonna get stuffed out by the get up attack. Through the nair, stuffs it out. Dab it left, a lot of damage. That was like a solid 30% right there. Pretty much. Yeah, he can't grab the legend. Forward smash, he's yeah. gonna take the spot. You know what, only at 22%, no, this is definitely doable for Ketchup as well. And the very landing hitbox of the dare is just gonna catch Charlie ever so off guard. Oh, trying to cut the roll in, rolls it again. You know, I feel like he was expecting a tech roll in, which is why he didn't go for the jab afterwards to get the jab block. Yeah. We got the jab, that would've been a lot of free damage. I mean, I feel like the jab lock would have been into a jab, and that would have been like another like 30%. Yeah. Oh, but yep. reads a tech roll in. Good, good coverage there. Covered everything except roll to the left. Ooh. Ooh. Spins out, but just roll, just roll uh, spot left is there. Gets him uh, around it. Jab. Yeah, I just stuffed out that side B right there. And last. <laughs> 
force that get punished for with the, ba with, uh, the dash tag. Again, there, just gonna catch Charlie off. And Ketchup is just trying to find that one moment when Charlie loses his uh, guard. Yeah, he's, he's using the clown car like drive, drift, right? right? He's trying to use it in a way so it's like, okay, I'm like, I'm fake, I'm fake, with the real one. But the back throw should be able to do it. And again, you know what? Sometimes like you just have to commit to an option. Ooh, but the, the wand just coming out. And again, that wand is such a good option just because it, it's deceptively fast. Yep, zero to 44 uh, conversion there for CDK. Get a lot of free damage, but again, catch up right here. Ooh, let's go shoot. Right. Again, we see catch up trying to just fake his approach off, just trying to see how CDK is going to react and see what he's going to be able to pull the trigger on it. I feel like every time when Ketchup wants to go for that side beat, Charlie's just like, okay, I'm just gonna run up there. Because like your your side beat is just not gonna be able to beat it out. Oh, sneaks in there with the wolf flash on lead before uh, the mega combo gets the mega combo gets there. Right. Charlie's playing this really well, playing it really slow. He's gonna take his time, he's like, alright, I don't need to get the kill now. I just need to rack up a little bit more damage and I can just get the kill. Alright. I mean that's what you kinda have to do when you're uh, having that solid play, you know, it's like, alright. As long as I don't get hit by the kill option, I can take this as far as I can. You know? Like two dash dice, he's gonna take another 20 damage. Uh, he's gonna take another 20 damage for that. He has a two frame with the down tilt. Ooh, but misses his timing on the ledge trap, and you know what? He gets a wand to the face, and that'll be the stock for catch up right there. And you know what? Now he's at zero, and now he has to worry about uh, Bowser Jr. low percent combos. A lot of, I don't know if he's jumped, but he's good. Who does it? Oh no, I feel like that caught his jump. Yeah, he gets back to ledge. And you know what, if I'm Charlie, I'm going to be shaking my boots just a little bit. Yeah, he just, he just wanted to end this out. I mean, we were talking about this earlier where, you know, Charlie's just like, you know, I can extend this lead as long as I don't get hit by the kill option. But that that plan, game plan works both ways. I'm mad. But despite CDK, like, having the... As we say, like maybe he's like a, a little fluster there. His movement's been looking really, really crisp. Right. But he's still remaining crisp. Yeah, you can tell that he's not letting it get the best of him. He's still playing that solid defensive play right there. Oh, the forward tilt gets the get up. Again, neutral get up with CDK. His timing's impactful. You can't neutral get up with his I don't know, and he's throwing out all those bears, so he makes you think that, like, he's covering jump. He's covering jump, yeah. It's like, okay, maybe maybe neutral get ups here. No. Yeah. And if you try to roll, then CDK's already in a position where you can just up smash out of shield. Yeah, that's it. It's like, he's got everything. Yeah. You know, and that's the sign of a good ledge trapper. It makes you think that any option you pick is wrong. wrong. Yeah. Alright, but game four, CDK on one game away from the bracket reset here on Town and City. Let's see if we can get it. He's just dashing in and out very, very cleanly. I feel like what we've been seeing from all these games from Ketchup is that he gets opened up pretty handily in the first stop. But then he slowly adjusts to Charlie's pace and then brings it back throughout the set. So you know what? I feel like the main difference is that can Ketchup just find that one kill option before Charlie can. I can't, I cannot over, uh, overstate how well CDK is moving right now. Like, his movement is basically just one winning him. Like, he's just baiting him in and out, and he's like little micro spacing, right? Like right. even not just the dashes from roll. And you can just see like all these short hops, all these fastballs. You know, they're just putting on so much pressure from catch that it forces them to pick an option. You know, and you know, then Charlie's just fast enough to just catch it, react to wherever Ketchup wants to go, especially with those bears. You know, you feel like, oh, bears, it's a strong move, it comes out slow, but like, it is like a really quick move, like for how fast it comes, for uh, how early it kills. Yeah, but again, you see the shine combos from CDK recovering all, every, almost every single option there with the down snaps there. Getting a lot more damage, gets you the kick. Just see going for that back air again, just not gonna be able to do it barely. Nice angle. I, feel, I just feel like Ketchup's not being just making it so hard. Oh my god! 
What? Oh my god, I, I, Charlie. I don't, I, I don't need to say it anymore. I, I, I think everybody knows what I'm going to say there. Oh my god, just never normal get up against Charlie because he will find a way to kill you for it. Oh, the read, the tech read in. Oh my god. Oh, he's you know, he's it. trying to end his life right there. Oh, oh, there, I, yeah. I, I like the Nair though. The Nair, if, if Ketchup hadn't gone a little bit further out, that would definitely would have hit. Yeah, that would definitely would have hit. So, coming up all the options there. CDK is just riding this momentum super hard right now, right? He was I, good important, but he was very slightly off there. Yeah, he was just a little bit too early. I feel like that's the first time we've ever seen him like miss going for a hard read like that. We did it every other time, which is like, I don't know. I feel like five times right now, so five out of six. I think yeah. that's I mean, how scary is it to go up against a player that's able to hit you on normal get up like pretty much like 80% of the time? Yeah, that's incredibly scary. I catch him feeling the pressure right now. No, that's not it. That that's is. it! Oh my oh god, I got god. the bracket reset from CDK. Ooh. And with that, unfortunately, I do have to head out. I have a carpool that I got to take care of. Oh, so. no. Oh, no. Uh, try to see if you can get uh, uh, Jintac or somebody else to come on. on yeah, I'll, carry. I'll, we'll see. But uh, that was the bracket reset. I do have to head out. It was a pleasure commenting with you, Tim. Oh, Our first block. Yeah. Oh, first block ever. Yeah. Hey, hey. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't come around that much. Right. I'll, I'll, right. Try, and, I'll try and make an effort to do so, but we'll right. see. It, it is good to have you, Foss. Uh, see you later, man. Later. If you guys right. uh, like my commentary, you want to give me critiques or whatever, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, Foss underscore LOL. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. See ya. And now I'm going to do the solo commentary for Grand Finals Bracket 2 Reset. Let's go, folks. And again, starting on Pokemon Stadium, this is going to be an interesting stage for both characters, just because Ketchup can get so many up air combos using the platforms as the extensions. But Charlie the King not letting it get the best of him, but still not enough hits on at the low percent. Gets punished with a rapid jab right there. AC, he was trying to go for the normal get too. Like, Bowser Jr. has some setups with his uh, Mechagooba too. But yet again, just like Charlie the King, it's not easy getting those two frames on that normal get up. Here we go, now Charlie eating a, a hefty event at the beginning, and just like Charlie has an up smash, though so does Ketchup. Ketchup has an amazing up smash out of shield that kills just as early as Charlie's, if not earlier. Here we go, both players just kind of like sneaking around in neutral. Charlie realizing that, okay, maybe I've been going a little bit too aggressive, so let me try to mix up my pacing right here. Here we go, and there's the up air strings. Not gonna be able to find more, but you know what? Gets the follow up off of the landing option. Here we go. Now we're very seeing a very much a roll reversal from game two or three, but this side B not gonna be enough to take it. But the four tilt will barely uh, clip catch up right there. And yeah, there's the up throw up there. Yet again, just keeping him in this juggle situation, you know, just tacking on more and more percent. Yeah, they, the downtown off of the spot dodge, trying to follow it up, but it's not going to be able to chase him down in time. You see Ketchup trying to go for the jab block, doesn't find it, sees the tech roll in, goes for the up smash to get the punish anyways, and he died for it. Here we go, dude. Final stock for Charlie the King. And again, it snipes him out with that back air. You know, you think it's safe, you think he's landed, but know it, not enough end lag. He can just pop up and do it again. Every time you think it's over, it's not. Here we go. Here's the up throw combos. It's fair. Gets the air dodge, but no, he air dodges, and it's not going to be enough to bring him back to stage. Oh my god, that is heartbreaking for Charlie. Dying at 60% right there. You know, that's sometimes like the probably the, one of the worst things about playing Wolf is that your up B, the, the distance on that is not spectacular. So if you do do the directional air dodge, you know, you have to be very careful about where you are on stage and if you can recover. But here we go, back to uh, Smashville right here. Who gets the jab? And yet again, Charlie trying to you know, prove that, hey, you know what, that was just a flub. I can definitely do this. Gets a, down throw, dash attack. Recognizing the tilt, or the, the tech, and seeing the tilt coming out from 
catch up and no one just kind of retreating backward. Gets the bear, not gonna be able to follow enough, but tries to go for another grab off of the shield, but catch up kind of jumps out of the way. Here we go, catching them with another dash attack. Going for the high recovery, not gonna be able to find it. Boss is coming back to the uh, commentary booth. How is it? How is your break, my friend? I lied. You uh, lied. Yeah, they, uh, my corporal said they're going to go with Dom instead. I'm like, okay, I didn't right. know this. <laughs> I, I, wish you, I wish you told me, but I, anyway. I didn't know they were going to go with Dom either until I just found out. All right. Anyway, all right, what happened? Uh, game one, catch up one because Charlie air dodge off stage. So he has to eat. Yeah. So this is basically like game two. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's game two right now, and it's very even percent. You know, I say even percent, but like, yet again, like, Charlie's going to struggle to find a kill. Until he gets that like super crazy read, yeah, but back here, so, like that. But he yeah. it up. And again, you know, you, you have to be so careful about how you're landing against uh, Wolf. But oh, oh my God, that was amazing. But you know, no air dodge means I can avoid that mecha Koopa. Kicks him through the stage. I am amazed at how far through the stage that kick went through. Wolf up is a little good there, right? I'm running. Uh, you can keep, you can keep swing wherever you want, bro. I'm, I'm running. There you go. I see. Yeah. He, he was trying to double jump, like game one, but he didn't have his double jump, and that's why he died. He just threw his tap. Wow. Oh, I mean, it's not gonna be enough. Yeah. It's not a ledge, but like that's an extra like 20% you need to see. What does it matter though? CD case again. I'm like, I feel like I didn't miss a beat already, All right? And again, you know, this is Charlie playing defensively, knowing that, like, okay, I don't have to push an option. I can just slowly whittle him down and, you know, just take this lead even further me on. Yeah, it's like, I, I have the lead, like, as long as I keep playing my normal game, I don't have to really overextend. I can just get yeah. Or get the kill, you know? Right. I mean, you know, like, you see Ketchup going for these fairs, and, you know, I, as soon as he realizes that, yeah, like, fair is not safe on my shield, I can just up smash whenever I want out of it. Oh, no, oh, that up B, yeah, that's going to be a punish. I love what Ketchup did right there. He knew Jab was going to be enough to kill and then try to, like, overextend with the force match. Yeah, it's a bad option, too, because, like, it's finally not much like, oh, I'm going to stab you. Right. And let's be real, if Jab wasn't fast enough, no move wouldn't have been fast enough. Oh, we tried to double step. Three, three steps. Oh, but then there's the up air strings, but no, he's going to fall for it. Fall, or f not fall for it, but fall through it. Dash attack. Get him off stage again. He's gonna get him scrim. Nope. Uh, Over oh, the bounce on kicks. Yep. Yo, kicks. A little hop kick to get him off the stage and into game three and a 1 1 even. Yeah, Ketchup, ketchup beats the ice out CDK right now. Right. Like. The only, like, the reason Ketchup has been winning games is because of a misplay from CDK. Right. And he needs to ice him out right now. I mean, Charlie is definitely playing super hot right now. Like you said, no, Ketchup, I feel like he wants to play defensively, except he can't just because, no, Charlie can throw out the blaster if he plays super defensively. And every, every time he goes ag uh, aggressive, Charlie just throws out the nair or the bear just to, like, stuff him out. Three, two, yeah, super one. good. Go! Right, here we go. Just another dash attack, but gets the spot dodge and you know gets an even harder punish off of it. Gets another air dodge or spot dodge. Got the wall. We got the tech green. Yeah, second place. We covered it. Good dash attack. Get up there. You know, I feel like that's the scary thing about playing against Charlie is that he knows exactly what kind of defensive ball you're gonna take. If you're gonna tech in place, if you're gonna normal get up from ledge, if you're gonna jump, if you're gonna roll. I mean, he just right there to punish at all. Oh, you know, he read that, he read that side beam and thought he timed it right to get the up smash, but he just barely avoiding it. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to dare challenge that oh, that's bad. Ooh, he read the air dodge in, but you know, I'm not gonna be able to find it. Catch up, knowing that he can't tech anywhere near 
uh, Charlie if he wants to live. Here we go, 148%. I mean, like, this has kind of been the story of the game where Charlie gets him up to like 140, 150%, and you know, it just struggles to find a kill. And this is where Ketchup makes all this percent back. Because now, Charlie is not playing that solid neutral. He's starting to look for the kill option, not the neutral option. Oh, he gets oh that's unfortunate right there. But yeah, the down tilt setting up that perfect percent. Or that, that perfect distance. Like, by it. You know what? I wonder if you can reflect the uh, Koopa car. I don't think so. Uh, the car? Like, oh, like when you got B? Yeah. yeah. Like, does it turn into a projectile at that point? I or would no? so, but I feel like it's not. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that was an amazing kill confirm, but like, the comforts I'm thinking about that is that, like, can, can a villager pocket it? Like, imagine more if. Testing. More testing. Yeah. yeah. We need it. We need it. And. Anyway. Alright. Well, that was a crazy confirm for CDK. Again, fair to there is to outside. That's a combo. And it's just doing so much to You know, we are seeing a very revitalized Charlie the King. You know, CDK putting on a show. I mean, this is, if you want to watch how to play Wolf at a high level, definitely watch Charlie. Charlie will show you everything you need to know about Wolf. How to, how to extend combos, how to play neutral, how to bait your opponent into doing whatever option you want them to play, you know? Yeah. It's a very solid play. play he read him so hard with that up B. Oh my god, Charlie, you are playing like a monster right now. Yes. Charles is like, yes, yes I am. Guy says it. <laughs> oh my god. He called out that Oh my god. He's just on another level right now. Alright, now crazy What does Ketchup need to do to bring this back for uh for the I mean, I feel like I feel like there's not a whole lot you can do in the matchup, just because Everything that he's doing in neutral, Charlie is just kind of outpacing him. You know, everything he wants to do, every time he wants to try to approach, so Charlie's just stuffing him out. And, like, you can't just say, don't approach, you know? Because if he doesn't approach, then, like, Charlie's just like, okay, I'm going to sit back and throw, throw lasers. If he tries to sit down and fire Mecha Koopas, I'm just going to reflect it back at you. Like, you literally have to approach or die. All the combo, nice combo, to prepare. I feel like the main difference in this matchup is the fact that Charlie's able to go for his kill options without being hard punished. Yeah. Or or he can hard punish easier with the, with his kill options than catch a man. See, like if, if you want to ask like what can he do, I, I would say like maybe when you force Charlie to go low like that, you can probably go for it down there and like. Like, oh, the Mega Koopa stuck to him! Right. And it just barely sent him into the blast zone. Alright. Trying to go for an up smash, but I know it gets stuffed out by the grab instead. You can see Ketchup going for his low percent like bread and butter combo while Charlie has to start fishing for things. Charlie has to overcommit to some options. Yeah, we put that uh, up there. Just try to get him over there. But alright, we go uh, right under. Oh, the back is okay. Yep. I feel like that's the other thing that's going to make it so hard for Ketchup to make it up is that Charlie can just throw out of back air and not really get punished for it. You know? No. Ketchup doesn't really have a similar option that you can just throw out constantly without getting punished super hard like that. Here we go, you know, both players are just trying to walk, like dance around each other, but you know what, Ketchup, you know, he throws out this fast attack and like, unlike Wolves, where like, it has a little bit of end lag and it, it has a little startup to, to it. Oh, but the reflector there, I'm second to go there, so good. That's what you're talking about with, it's really hard for you to use 
Oh, he rolled right. into it, though. Yet again, if you're on that platform, you cannot roll in. It covers the entire platform. So the best thing you can know for it is just jump out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Jump out of the way or, like, hope you, like, crap fall off. Back air kind of sniping him out right there. Not going to be enough to take it, though. But he's looking to find his option. Oh, but yet again, and again, that Nair is just big. Oh, I love it with the Nair, but the other, the, the spot dodge again. Alright. I feel like that Nair has just been the biggest pain in the butt for, for catch up right now. Yeah. Strong hitbox. Mecha Koopa. Mecha Koopa catches him off guard. Gets it back to center stage, and you know what? Like, yet again, even that Nair, like, it's at super high percent now. And, oh my god, he, he, he's stalling it out right there. Oh, two friends of anyone with a down tilt. But I mean, he's... Oh no! Oh no! He used up all of his resources! Yep. You, you would normally see uh, a Bowser Jr. go for the, the side B again, but because he used it so many times off stage like that, he didn't have it again. One stock away from taking WNF here. It's not 100%. It's still doable, but it's still been very difficult for against the dash attack. Gets the wall. She had to cover the wall with the jump, but instead going to get forward. There's a Nair, and yet again, trying to catch it with another Nair, but you know what? This is catch up game to lose, and it is slowly slipping out away from underneath him. He's catching it here. Trying to get him with a fair, but not enough. The wrong side. Right. Fair's going to stuff it out. Goes over uh, TK. Oh, with the up smash. Yeah. We'll take it, yeah. yeah. And we are going to game five right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely, you saw in game four how Ketchup took that loop. Oh, did somebody leave their wallet here? I mean, if somebody left their wallet, uh, Give it to Javi or give it to uh, ESA. And again, we can usually, if you leave your wallet here, if, if you leave something important, we'll try to find it back to you. Oh, wait. I think. Right. Is it, I mean, usually if there's a name on it. Boss not recognizing his own schoolmate. I'm just saying it looks different. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, there is a there's a photo of me for my, my school ID photo. I look black in it. <laughs> I call I call it my honorary black ID card because like it is it is just that bad of a photo. Oh my god. Oh my god. We'll see though. Game five. Starting off explosive here with the upper change. We'll try to cover the second place, but we we'll get the first hand. We'll tech, nice tech to him against the, the back air. Just stuffing him out with that bear. Ketchup looking to try to take his momentum that he got in game four and, and you know, take W and F with it. There he goes, finds the bear. Yep. But Charlie not going to let this opportunity swing through his fingers, you know. He's just juggling him consistently. Oh, but this looked like a star spot. I feel like it would have killed him. It would have sweet spot. Off stage yet again. Oh, oh. The neutral player didn't get it this time. Yep, just barely rolls out of the way in time. Back throw, town. Oh, we might do it. Nah, oh, he's, nah. Char Charlie like was too far in center stage, and yeah. you know, thought the game was heavy. There's a there, and you know what? Like, he really needs to find his kill right now. Yeah, he needs it right now. He wants to take it. That's the version with the heart. Oh, you can see Charlie is starting to hesitate on where to go for it. Yet again, not going to be enough. Yet again, probably one more pummel would have done it too. Yeah, one more pummel would have had it for center stage. 
again. No, this is where, like, Wolf can really struggle to find a kill if he doesn't get in that, like, one sneaky hit. There we yeah, go. Gonna take it. Yep. And again, you just have to go and find that one hit that will, like, take the stop. Now things are back to even. No, he's at low percent. This is prime jungle percent for catch up right here. Just gets oh, stuffed yeah. out yet again and yet again. This is like the same old song and dance where he eats a solid like 80, 90 percent without taking a single percent, and then like Ketchup just doesn't die and slowly brings it back. But gets the two point with the death smash. Finally, after all this time, he gets it in game five of set two. But you know, taking the lead, it's gonna be enough. Rolls with the jabs, gets another fair, gets the there, gets the tilt, so much percent, 42 percent here. CDK not pressing his advantage, he's gonna stay very content right. chilling on stage. Right. Oh my god, just holy shield just in time to avoid the forward smash. Get the fair in the bear! That's it! Oh my god, Charlie takes it over, catch up in a tight game five. Oh, the moment you got that conversion, you really need to use the bathroom again. Yeah. Charlie's just like, okay, I have drank in all the water, I have came, I have conquered, and now I need to go. Yeah. My people need me. Well, that was